Hey guys, so today I'm going to follow on from a tutorial that I was making last time which was about when you went underwater it had some water effects so it gave the illusion that you were actually underwater but today I'm going to show you how to add some um, swimming mechanics and things like that. I've not found anything like this and it took me quite a while to piece together this script um, so it's, it's, it's remedial in a sense but it works efficiently for what you need it to do and you can adapt it as you need to but it's just a, a basis to what we want to start with so before in my other tutorial we had f um, just this with the first person controller terrain and um, water and directional light and what I did is I may have attached the script to the main camera last time um, but this time I just added it to the first person controller because we we're going to need to access some um, other scripts that are inside on this game object so I've just added my underwater script to the first person controller and I've just set the water level to 35 so if you remember when we jump in the water because the water is set to 34 we jump in we see this color change but we can run about as we could on the surface which is not quite like water so it doesn't work very well but we're going to change some things um, to make it act as if it is underwater and you can swim so what we want to do is open our underwater script so as you can see you may remember this from the other tutorial we're gonna first of all add a variable because we want to access something else inside this character controller. so if we click on the first person controller we want to access the character motor script which is going to affect our fall speeds our um, max side uh, sideways and forward speeds and they're going to give the actual um, illusion that you're actually swimming in the water and you are actually got some force there so if we go back to our script what we want to do is we want to make a new private variable and we want to call this ch motor it doesn't really matter what you write ch motor is just short for character motor and we're going to call this um, variable by the character motor script so we're actually referencing this variable from that and we wanted, want, what we want to do in our start function is actually write that ch motor so our variable that we create, created is equal to and we need to get the component um, which is called character motor which is attached to our first person controller and then we save that we've got that in start so we're referencing uh, so we're referencing this and what we want to do now is in our set underwater so when we're actually underwater we want to actually do some things so what I like to do is add a few things ch motor dot movement dot gravity equals to 2 now normal gravity in the character um, motor script is 20 but for this this is what I liked you can change all these values and things but you can see in the character motor script you can see what gravity is set to and you can um, reference all these actual um, components but we're going to copy and paste this another three times and what we want to do is change each of these so then we want to change this one to max fall speed and we want to set that equal to 5 and then we want to change this one to max forward speed we want to make that equal to 4 and then we want to change this one to max sideways speed now all of these as I say can be seen in the actual um, character motor script so you can see what how these are actually spelt so if we save that out we go back into unity you can see if you want to access the character motor script it's just there double click that and you can um, find all the references and what we can do is when I I don't want maximize on play on is when I run the game and we can see that when I run the game and you can see all my options down this hand this side and what I'm going to do when I jump in the water it's going to change all my values so we actually fall because the max fall speed has been lowered we actually fall slowly and we can't move 
very quickly either way so it gives some subtle value to being underwater now that's that's a, a very basis to what we're going to do but the main element to how we're going to be able to swim and go up and down in the water is on this first person controller we're going to have to add something called a uh, constant force modifier so if we go on component and we go physics and we add a constant force what we're going to do we get a rigid body and a constant force modifier attached what we first of all want to do is untick use gravity because we don't want to tell it to use gravity and we'll just leave these like this so these are the two components that we need if we go back into our underwater script what we're going to do now is we're going to actually use this constant force because constant force just if you add a value in the y direction either minus or positive it will you know make you go up and down respectively so what we're going to do is in the update function because we're going to base these on key presses we're going to now write this in the update function so we're going to say if is underwater and we write and and input dot get key key code dot e and we need two brackets at the end because we're referencing two different things if we are underwater and we press this key not either not all then what we want to do is add two curly brackets and write constant force because that is what we've got attached to our character then we want to write relative force and that's the force that we're going to use to make it rise up and down vector 3 and then we open up the brackets writing 0 for the x minus 200 for the y and then 0 for the z and then we'll close that off so what it does is if you tie if it is underwater and you press an e at the same time when you're underwater it will make you actually go down it will put a force downwards then what we want to write is else then we want two curly brackets and then I'll just copy this same line so you don't have to see me type it again constant force relative force is that if we're underwater and we're not pressing a button then we're just going to stay still and then we're going to write an, another if statement which is going to be exactly the same as the top one but we're going to change this to Q and then add to curly brackets again and we're going to again take this constant force component and we're going to put positive of 200 in it so really when I play the game in unity you'll notice that everything stays the same I'll jump into the water it's as is affected by the going inside the down into the water now if we press Q we rise up if I let go of Q we're just a constant constant rate Q again makes me raise up every time I'm tapping it if you can hear my taps and then if I press tapping E makes us go down now you can change all these variables so you can make forward speed faster you can make it slower you can make everything change so essentially that's just showing you how that you can do a basic um, almost thrust and decrease when you're under the water and some basic swimming now what I like to do is just give an effect of maybe being in a in a suit or um, exhaling in the water is in my other tutorial I showed you how to create bubbles or a bubble particle effect so I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to our script and make it the bubbles only appear when we actually go in the water so if we see we'll just attach the bubbles to the main camera when we click on the main camera we can see them there I'll just move them slightly further forward so if we go back into our script again we want to write a new variable so I'll write at the top to keep everything together variable and we can put anything in here we could put my particles and then colon particle system with a semicolon and then in our start function 
we want to say my particles dot stop um, of open close brackets then semicolon which means as soon as the script starts we don't want that particles particle system to play because we're not underwater yet so there's no point and then what we want to do is if we go down to set underwater we want to say my particles dot play open and close brackets semicolon so when we're actually underwater it plays that particle effect for us if I go back to unity now you'll see my bubbles playing in the scene if I press play oh, actually I just if you get that um, error you'll notice that on the first person controller you'll notice that my particles it doesn't have a reference to that variable so we just need to add the bubbles to that actual variable slot in the inspector so now if we play we don't see any bubbles and if we jump into the water you'll notice that you see bubbles appearing actually in front of your screen and then we can use our keys to go up and down in the water and swim around alright well then that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.